Kenneth Bruns. And now, this opponent will be fired out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise the roof for Luke Proven. Yes. Yes. Kilograms from Watford, England, United Kingdom. It's Luke Coleman.
you, Alex, being a heavyweight, I imagine well, you didn't get many heavyweights in Thailand. No, well, I've never fought in Thailand. I've trained out there for, you know, a long time, but I, I never... How big is the biggest Thai kilos? Yeah. How long's a piece of string, I suppose, yeah. but they, they, they don't, don't really don't go really over 70, go 80, 80, 80 kilos. 80 kilos, no. You, you get a few monsters up there. But these guys are now showing what the UK has in this weight category, which is good. How they look sport out in that sport, I'm not too sure. you got Christian Knowles in the corner. If you're good enough, he'll take you to one championships in these shows, won't exactly he? Exactly that, Danny. Very well competed first round. fighters they set up slower don't they these are uh, Muay Thai fights though Alex they really do it's really interesting I mean I've done a bit of Thai a bit I'm not a Thai expert by any means tell me why do they stretch legs like that in the corner you're going to kick high a lot Alex and you're going to make sure those tendons are working round two good position there from Coleman Hands in the face and hyper extends Cruz over that rope. Calm, composed, Coleman. But where's shots from Cruz as he gets close? Jab, cross, kick to the body. Yeah, really good combination work. He looks Luke more Coleman. muscular, Coleman, than I saw him last time. Do you know yeah, that? he does. He looks like he's put on a good bit of size, but he's putting his shots together well. Good kick, good return. As these guys get older, they get more muscular, don't they, and stronger in their strikes. Well teed up, good handwork there from Cruz, and the shot to the body, that's good boxing. They do have a lot of boxing at the uh, Fight Zone gym. They, they are competing on a lot of boxing shows, that gym that I'm at. Okay, this, uh, the clinch, when it goes into the clinch, Luke looked like he was a little bit more dominant with his positioning there from the clinch. Maybe that's an area that he could take this fight to, Danny. Yeah, he wears a big overhand right himself when he approaches there, Cruz, but goes down to the leg fluently. Oh, Cruz. He's heavy-handed, isn't he, yeah. Kenneth Cruz? He's always got bad intentions with every shot he throws. Coleman's very, very composed, though, isn't he? You never know if you've hurt him or not. No, poker faces it well, doesn't he, Danny? Yeah. He's got to protect that lead leg, I think. Kenneth Cruz loves to off-balance that lead leg as well. Have you know, it's very slight. Good knee as he approaches there on the hook. Oh, heavy artillery to the body. And hammers that low kick in again. Coleman goes up to the body. Cruz is lively. It's a good matchup, isn't it, Alex? It's a very good matchup. Cruz is nice and busy on the outside. He boxes so well. But Luke Coleman continues to force the action, Danny. He's walking through everything. Can Cruz maintain this now? He's really tough, isn't he? In fact, he looks tougher than last time I saw him as well. Just misses that high kick. But did you notice he wasn't a full committal where you turn 180 degrees? So he's ready to defend. Those body shots are money in the bank for the later rounds too, Danny. He keeps delivering that right hand to the body and eventually... And there's venom in them as well, isn't there? There's venom there? in them. Eventually they're going to hurt. 
Cruz lifts this spoke. I'm sure Carmen does as well. All down to, even down to the haircut, this kid. He absolutely loves it. Well, Danny, next up we've got Lyndon Knowles. And Bugra heard again. I'll tell you what, the Raw Combat belt. Heavyweight World Championship. Wow. Lyndon Knowles defending his title. He is the current champion. Heard again has not come here to mess about. I tell you, he brings a very, very impressive record. 14 wins, five by way of knockout. So he's travelled from Istanbul for this fight. The Nosey Academy have a very, very hard defence on their hands. Yes, it's a, it's a very interesting fight. Everyone gets excited by the heavyweights. And let's be honest, you very rarely see Lyndon Knowles in a boredom fight, Danny. Lyndon Knowles is what the crowd needs to see. If this sport needs supporters, you need characters like Lyndon Nosey Knowles. How do you rate the Nosey Academy in terms of credibility and the rankings in the UK? Christian Knowles has now become a global, impressive trainer, one of the best in the world. He's known across the biggest tournaments in the world. So in the UK, is the Nosey Academy up there as the best? Most definitely, my friend. Multiple champions. And here they are representing with Luke Coleman, who now presses Kenneth Cruz back to the ropes, who uses the ropes to good advantage. Lovely lead kick there from the left. Yep. But Coleman responds on the body. So you notice the first few shots, the Kenneth throws are all up top and then he'll start working the body. He'll start putting that right hand back to the body very soon. Good exchange there. Coleman was ruthless as he came through, but he was just so accurate on the inside, wasn't he, Cruz? Those body shots are dangerous, aren't Vicious they, Vicious right hands to the body. It shows you the conditioning of Coleman, because he doesn't move or flinch. No, he uh, continues to march forward, continues to work. That's a That's heavy, heavy low kick. Really heavy low kick, Alex. The body shots and low kicks are heavy from Cruz. I think there's a power difference in these shots. Coleman's ring works good though. He's controlling the ring. That's heavy artillery on the body in response. And the low kick. It's a very good fight this, Danny. Cruz but doesn't get discouraged, does he, Alex? No, he, because he's he... seen the body. He's not moving. He carries on doing he's it, He's sticking he? to the plan. He knows they hurt. He's sticking to the plan. Yeah. Uh, as much as he knows... Look, there he goes again. Look, Coleman's poker facing it well, and he doesn't look like it's hurting him, but they are money in the bank. He just finishes the exchange as well, Cruz, as well. In fact, he's running away with this round for me. Coleman's scoring up to the body well, though. But Cruz is damaging that leg and the body. Clean shot. I'm surprised he doesn't throw an elbow over the top after those body shots, you know. If he, he does could, like if an could, elbow. Yeah, if he could time it, that's a perfect shot. Yeah, he loves them as well, Cruz. I can't see him getting to round five without throwing them. I, I think it's one of those cases of if we're going to start this now or we're going to start this later. You know, he throws a beautiful knee, Cruz, as he steps in. He throws a really nice knee, turns it beautifully. Just extends him over the rope, but the clinch hasn't been the biggest factor of this. All the best part of this fight has been on the outside, hasn't it? Yeah, a very, very good fight on the outside. The clinch has I'd been like, qualified. I'd like to know the minutes. hit count of this fight, how many scored shots there's been, because there's been so many clean shots thrown from both athletes, hasn't there? See, again, there's not a lot happening in the clinch. It gets broken or nullified very, very quickly. This fight's on the outside, it's where it's going to be won or lost on the outside. At the minute though, Danny, I've got Kenneth Cruz edging away. I have as well, but Coleman's got some really good shots to make it close each round. Every round is very, very well competed. Alex, I know you're not the biggest judge of Muay Thai and scoring, but 
From an outsider's point of view, to the sport really as a kickboxer, MMA fighter, how do you see this fight? Who do you see dominant? That's a very tough question. Um, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, and they're both ebbs and flows. One of them is peaking, and then the other is peaking. So I've got it even Steven at the moment. What about yourself? Listen, the commentator scorecard counts for nothing. It's the most awkward question you could ever ask a commentator, Alex, but I think Cruz is doing really well and hitting really hard. His body shots are so clean and accurate, but Coleman's scoring good body kicks in response as well. I'll leave this one to the judges you know, and bottle out the question, my friend. I, um, I don't go by points. I've always go to finish. In a real fight, fight to the death, who is done the most damage. Who's done the most damage in this? Forget the points. Well, damage is a massive score in Muay Thai. What shots have caused the most damage will go down on those scorecards. It's not like boxing where it's clean shots and it will be at the damaged effect shots. So let's see as we go into this third round. Round four. Well, I said it earlier, it's, as far as the elbows go, how close they've got, it's almost like we're going to start this. But they're going to the body a lot. And Cruz is hitting harder on the body, isn't he? More effect. Yeah, his body shots are really venomous. And he's setting them up nice. He's tapping the jab in and then driving the right hand into the body. But Coleman looks like he's come out with a bit more intent using that long push guard. I it think Christian Knowles has been throwing that medicine ball into Coleman's body at full velocity because he's wearing the shots so well. He hasn't flinched from any of them, but they're really strong shots. Really strong shots, but yeah, you're right. He's uh, It's a credit to his conditioning and his training, Danny, Fantastic because condition. he's non-stop forwards. I said it earlier, he looked more muscular than when I saw him last time. And he's needed it for this fight, hasn't he? Cruz wants to off-balance that lead leg, but Coleman lifts it, and he's wise to that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He throws a nice chop and low kick, Cruz, and you can see the, the swelling around that left leg of Coleman now. Nice return low kick from Coleman, but... Has he got the venom in him that Cruz has got? No. There's more damage, isn't there, from Cruz? He's a nasty, he's a nasty operator. He, he wants is. To hurt you. He's spiteful, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. People think I'm. I don't know. I think they're being not speaking well of Muay Thai when I say it. Well, Muay Thai is a spiteful brutal. sport. It's, it's brutal. brutal, and we love it. But watch at the end, Kenneth Cruz will be nothing but respect. Oh, he started something now. There's the right elbow. Coleman will be well up for that, don't you worry. Mind their heads as they clash in the centre there. Coleman gets a hand on Cruz's head. Oh, he's complaining of a low shot there. I think his box might have moved. It's gone quiet over in this corner for Coleman's support. I think they know he's up against it here. You can hear the... You can hear Jose Varela screaming instruction to their fighter. Yeah, Valera's asking for, for the knee after the boxing here, Danny. Varela let's, is let's see if, uh, always animated on these shows, isn't he? Yeah, Fantastic let, let. fighter himself, Varela. One of the most entertaining fighters you'll see in the building. And now as a coach, he's just as animated. Let's see if Cruz follows instructions and puts a knee on the end of the boxing right now. I think it's knee elbow at the end, personally, but I'm not the coach and I'm not the judge. So let's just enjoy what happens, but Cruz, Cruz kicks high. Coleman's guard is always tight. Oh, spears the elbow forward there, Coleman. Coleman chasing him down now. Yeah, but he, he's not he's not cutting the ring off. He just allowed Cruz out and followed him. He could have controlled him there. Cruz will just crack his shins in you all day. He doesn't care, does he? He'll move out round the side, escape and hit you. And he's doing that really well. Oh, he's going for a spinning yeah, back elbow there. The spinning, yeah. 
There's that lead kick. The lead kick's effective, isn't it? Well, I think Ali, it's, they I call think that. going to need to stop them. With, with yeah, they call that the money round in Muay Thai, round four. It's imperative on the scorecards, and it's, it's usually what's going to tip. Are you even, or how are you going to go into the last round? I don't know. I think Cruz is ahead in this fight. You say that, right? Because I understand a little bit about how it works in Thailand, the, the tradition, the history of Thai boxing. Two, two uh, opponents don't go hammer and tong in the first few rounds. It's almost like etiquette is to uh, like show your stuff, to place your bets, to get the gambling going. Yeah, when I fought in Tepesip, uh first time, there's a lot of money on the fight. It was, um, against an American and they're telling me don't knock out round one, don't hit hard, let everyone gamble because everyone wants to gamble in this fight. So I was even told not to go out but when you come into round four here these guys have started to throw elbows. I've got a feeling this will be fireworks this round. So my point is you as your training camp you purposely don't go hammering tong on round one. If you do you're, are you frowned upon? No, this is the UK, Alex. There's not a lot of gambling. But now, the money would be on Cruz, I think, as we go into this fifth and final. It's the fifth and final round. Yeah, Alex, the... just ahead, Cruz. Yeah, we've got Cruz ahead going into this last round. I think Coleman potentially needs a stoppage or a really big round. That's a good start. Yeah, good off balance there. Misses that high kick again. Cruz damages the leg when he turns around after. We've seen that a lot, haven't we? Yeah. He doesn't miss an opportunity. When he makes you miss, you're going to pay for it. Right, so it's one of your pet hates. It's what you put to your fighters, Alex. You'd be quite pleased if Cruz then fighting for your camp, wouldn't you? Yeah, Cruz is um, he's taking every opportunity. He's, he's timed his shots well. There's not a lot of opportunities in a fight. It seems like there is on the outside. No, when there's small there, margins. Yeah. It's millimetres. To get your power shot off, there's a few circumstances. I love his shot selection, Cruz. You look at the shots he picks one after the other. They make sense. Again, goes to the body and the head. You can tell it's the boxing coaches as well at the fight zone. They're heavily represented on the boxing scene, they are. Jose Varela takes the Muay Thai there, obviously. But I think you can see that in Cruz's hands. Yeah, he's heavy handed. Kicks well off the lead leg, and there's that low kick when he yeah. moves around. Makes a miss, turns off well, controls the ring. He's schooling Coleman now. Coleman needs something big, doesn't he, Alex? Yeah, he needs he needs a bit more urgency. He's got to look like he wants to... If he wants to win this fight, he's going to have to stop Kenneth Cruz. I, I don't see that happening. Do you think Cruz will want to stop him now, or do you think he's going to go right back and take the win? I don't think that there's any need for Kenneth Cruz to go looking for a stoppage. It's too dangerous. He's, Coleman's clearly a tough as they come. Yeah, he's really tough, Coleman. We haven't, we haven't seen... The effective shots have been there, but we haven't seen the effect on Coleman because his body stature, he doesn't he doesn't flinch at all, does he? Oh, the elbow on the inside from Cruz. Been a really good show here from the fire zone fighter. Coleman has matched him and made it a really, really good fight. Small margins though, as they say, Alex. Definitely, Danny. I think Kenneth's just being busier. The shots have been more clinical. I'd love to see the shot count from Kenneth Cruz, as you said earlier. He hasn't stopped throwing for five rounds. Judges scorecards, Alex. Yeah, Kenneth Cruz knows he's got that. His hand is in the air as soon as he, as soon as he went, uh, the bell went.
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Warriors in the ring! After five rounds of Mai Tai action, we go to your ringside officials and your judges have come to a unanimous decision and they're clearing your winner. In the blue corner, it's Kenneth Papito Cruz! Ladies and gentlemen, this man walked in every single round and competed. Please also show your appreciation for Luke Coleman. Thank <laughs> you. 